on this video i'll be showing you my jacket haul from top shop about three jackets from here and then from asos about two jackets from here if this is something you want to see sit back relax and enjoy <laughs> Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, as I said at the introduction, we're going to be looking at autumn jackets. So I got a few jackets from Topshop, I got a few from ASOS as well. I want to try them on for you guys so you see what's out there and what you think you would have your eyes on going forward. For Topshop, um, backstory, I ordered three jackets and just two of them are here now. Apparently, there's something I don't know I missed with the third one, which was that the first one I actually put in my basket. Maybe I don't know, maybe the warehouse the is far. They've sent me an email this morning. I'm also, I'll let you know that we are still working hard to process your order. Please note some orders will take a little while. Daddy, daddy. Let's just stop complaining and get right into this video. This is the first jacket I got from them. It's a mink jacket, it's reversible, so it's got the mink thing. I don't even know what part of this one is. Okay, so it's got the mink thing here right now. It's going to look really hip hop y, like yo pee, yo pee. You wear it. <laughs> With this one on this front and then it, inside it has like it's, i don't think this is real leather but it's yeah a leather texture inside so i'm going to try it on now wearing it both ways this jacket was the most expensive of the lot i think it was 99 pounds though if you have uni days or you wait for top shop to be doing it so they always do it'll be best for you if you want to get this piece so it also has a belt which is where's the belt so yeah, it has a belt which is reversible as well. So if you're wearing it this way, you might want, you can even use any part of it, but you just reversible belt as well. So this is how this jacket looks. As I told you, it has that love and hip hop kind of behavior with it. You know, that whole padded, very cozy feel. Ideally, I would want this part outside now to be inside because it feels really warm. So you might want to bring out this strap as well to put outside if you want it outside while wearing this side of things and then right now we have our belt already outside. I'm just going to tie the belt so that we don't go through the first of whatever it is. So yeah, this is how it looks on this side of things. I kind of prefer this side because here just makes me feel like I'm holding my duvet and walking on the road. So this is a better view. And obviously um, fasten this properly. This is jacket number one. Now we we'll go on to the next one. Yep, so this is my next jacket. I really love the color of this one. I love the fact that it has the fur thing outside because it just makes you look really easy to jump all around. I love to wear this with a, let's say, um, pants that are really, really skinny tight, maybe three quarter and then sneakers or boots. And then it just gives you that, okay, yeah, I'm ready to be, you know, just up and doing and get things done. And this is how it looks. And then wearing this kind of jacket, you're just going to be bringing color onto the streets of wherever you live because everyone tends to be wearing camel or black and stuff this period or like dark green. But something like this just gives everybody that happiness and joy. Stephanie is around. That's three uh, kind of hooks that I don't go through putting them, but just imagine it being like this now. Put your hands in. Your little um, vlogging camera can stay here. Your phone can stay here. Anything you have that is little can stay here. Your card, your keys, but careful because it's open so someone can pocket you. But yeah. Yeah, so this is jacket number two. I'll put links obviously in the description box. I didn't show you inside. Inside is lined with, I don't know what this fabric is called, but the regular fabric they use to line jackets. Yeah. But it's really lovely. The color is lush and it's beautiful. So guys, these are the two jackets that came from Topshop so far. The third one, I'm going to insert it on the screen now because before I edit this video, I'll wear it and try it on for you. So this is the jacket I'm expecting that hasn't come yet. Let's go 
into my ASOS one. For ASOS, ha, huh, let me show you the two jackets. Another camel number. I love the feel of these. Like this piece reminded me of one Zara boy jacket. Like this, the silhouette of it just reminded me of that one. But when it came, I think I ordered it in a 14 anyway. Yes, every other jacket there I ordered in a 14 because I always like jackets to be a bit bigger than uh, my normal size, which is usually 12 or 10 up. So yeah, just look at the shape of this jacket. I just kind of like that boxy, boyish, I don't know how to put it, kind of fit. And that's why I picked up this from Ace. I can't remember the price, maybe 66 pounds. It will be in the description box. And then it's just a simple, I can easily just wear it, jump all around. It has two pockets as well, here and here, and then one button. I like the fact it has a button, even though I might not wear the button every time. But I just like the fact there's a button there to help us decide things. And then it has this dark thing at the back. I don't know if you can notice it just up here so it gives it a bit of stylishness as well and yeah so that's it the camel coat is asos but it is top shop yeah that's the whole thing so this i got from asos but it's a top shop jacket but i didn't even see it on top shop website websites when i was ordering so with this one you can wear it with anything really <laughs> over it is camel so it doesn't choose and then it's obviously a color that's suitable for this season so let's get to the last one this was the first jacket i got for the season hobby actually got it for me it was 48 pounds from asos it's by brave soul and i initially got it in a 12 when it came the hands were okay but i didn't like the fact that here wasn't like i wanted it to be freer as i said all my jackets i usually get in 14 right now with this size so let's wear it and you see how it looks yeah, so you can see the hands are not crazy long just like the way the one that was 12 was but yeah i love this jacket like it can never be cold in this one i think this one will even help me in winter as well um yeah two pockets as well it's got the same kind of fabric that other one has inside i don't know what this is called but maybe nylon fabric i guess and then yeah it's padded and it's got a hoodie as well This is my first official awesome jacket this season and I love it. Let's put the zip up so you see how it is full. But yeah, this is how it is fully covered. Let's cover our head as well. Because sometimes the rays are just so annoying and you don't start carrying an umbrella. So hoodies on your jackets are a good thing. yep so that's it for this jacket as i said links will be in the description box that's basically it for the coats i got for this season and the ones i want you to be inspired by last but not the least there was this little blazer situation i found in the thrift store the last time i went to cut my hair and i want to show you guys it's, it's zara basic and it was in a large which is obviously the size i would like to get for an outer wear piece it's snake prints which um yeah I'm loving right now. Remember my Instagram post where I had the set from Norania Studios, who I was working with at the time. It was snake prints like this as well. So I just really thought, obviously, I'm sure I've been trying to wear a lot of blazers, guys, and I thought this would come in really handy um, in my wardrobe. So I got to guess how much it was. It was four pounds. It doesn't have a button or anything, but it's just a simple jacket. It's really light, so. It's the kind of jacket you wear, maybe you're going to work and you're going to drive to work or you know, it's not going to be too cold or maybe just keep it for another season but I really love it and I think it's going to last in my wardrobe so this is the print, this is how it fits me it's not ironed obviously, I washed it that's why I washed it, yeah I've actually taken a picture with it um, already so I'll show you how it is so guys, um, that's it for this video. These are all the jackets I have now. Which of these jackets were your favorites? Which one do you think looks best on me? And then, as I said, the links will be in the description box. And yeah, and also, yes, I used, you know, the camel one from ASOS. I'm, I'm trying to shoot some real content for it, like London content for real on Instagram because you guys know, real just helps our Instagram pop these days engagement on instagram is really low and crazy but when you do like real videos and share it on your feed it helps so that's um camera jacket i'm going to use it to do like a real i don't know if it will be up by the time i'm doing this probably because today is the last reel i'm filming 
with that one i'm gonna go to Heathrow to do that one i'm not just going to Heathrow for this hobby is coming back i'm going to surprise him there as well then i just said i'll just do filming for that jacket just so that it's exciting you guys if you're in london let me know let's be creating content together it's always good to do these collaborations with people and stuff let me stop rambling if you haven't subscribed yet please do click the bell right beside the subscribe button as well share this video with your friends if this is not your first time thank you so much for coming i'll see you on the next episode and keep slaying keep staying safe don't be down i know there's lockdown everywhere it's just annoying now please don't be down just stay safe stay positive eliminate anything that's giving you stress a human being or follow them on instagram or wherever delete them from your whatsapp just try your best to keep it positive see you on the next episode guys bye bye